right, let's go ahead and fuck, I need to fix my Twitter thing here real quick. I have kind of kept away from, I think aside from the initial trailer, I have tried not to watch any of this. I just, I, I'm already hyped. I already want to, uh, I already know this is going to be a good time. I think I actually like the UI more from the 2016 Doom, though. Against all the evil that hell can conjure, all the Uh, so over the top to have a fucking scorch into the earth. Definitely wasn't any third person cutscenes in the 2016 Doom. Nearly 60% of our planet has been consumed by the invaders. We have the Hell Priest signal locked in. The target is marked, but the signal from our hold for long. For it is he that they fear, not man or his army. They fear the mark of the beast. God, the soundtrack is amazing. They got rid of the pistol. I'm away. <laughs> oh, wow, they give it to you this freaking early on. Oh, you, you don't even have to pull it out? It's just like, oh, okay. That's a bit different than how it was. Before, it was just basically an item you equip. 
Oh, that's gnarly. Oh, double jumping right off the bat. Up to five sticky bombs. Ooh, both of these are really good. Uh, t -t 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 -t. It does chew through ammo. Oh, these are both really cool. I'm gonna go with the sticky bombs. Fuck it. Definitely running out of ammo faster than I was in the original. You know, this just doesn't feel as right to play as with a uh, controller. Yeah, I don't know if I'm necessarily digging the- Oh, Jesus Christ. Can't upgrade, so let's do that. Let's see, let me see if there's any settings I can change in here. Game assist is on.
I love just playing the original Do what's uh, a version of the original Doom soundtrack in the background. Yeah, that definitely eats a bit too much ammo for my liking. Is good to know. Shit. Shit. Fuck this. Oh, dead now. Yeah, I'm going to... You know what? This does not feel quite right, so I'm going to re-up on my Steam version. Fuck. Of course, my cat's going to be annoying right now. Okay, I don't want to spend that extra money right now. So we're stuck with this version. Alright, so it definitely seems like they're forcing you to use a chainsaw infinitely more because they did not use it that much in the original.
go. moving oh I have to oh uh, fuck at least he doesn't just straight outright kill you so that's nice <laughs> you're just floating out there this game does not give a fuck I do like, like, like that they look more humanoid in here versus 2016 where they are all, their faces weren't as distinct. Oh, God damn it. Ugh. Let's see. I can't upgrade, but I can put a new one on here. I'm going to go with the missiles. He's giving you a lot of shit right out of the freaking gate. I love this grenade launcher so much. Oh, 
I have a really just big dumb freaking smile on my face right now. Uh, even if I'm about to die. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Uh, take out his freaking... There we go. That will help out a bit. It is nice that the uh, grenade launcher attachment here versus 2016 Doom is you can fire three shots before having uh, it's a little bit of a... Oh, can I run? No, I'm not running. I'm going to kill this dude. Fuck that. So, def uh, low health and ammo. Sweet. And I'm still fucked. Oh. There we go. Now I only have low ammo. Uh, this is on... What difficulty is this on? This is on Ultra Violence. So basically hard instead of very hard. I could probably be having a slightly bit more of a chill time if I was on normal, but... I don't know. This is pretty fun by itself. Ah. Uh. Oh. <laughs> oh, it looks like a fucking meatball. All right. How do I get you? Jump up. Okay, cool. Now, awesome. Formation of the arc. Oh wow, 60% of the planet has been consumed. Tentacle hole has one inside. That is useful information. Oh, hey, George. Uh, I couldn't watch your stream yesterday. I was just way too tired. It's all good, man. Get your sleep in, and I was honestly up later than I probably should have been. I'm pretty tired today as a result. Jeez, they really make you frickin' work for it. Secrets. Ammo, at least. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was streaming kind of late last night. No problem. Go to bed when you have to. I think that's probably one problem a lot of people are gonna face with, um, the whole quarantine is that people are staying up till 4 or 5 in the morning because... They don't have work. They don't have school. I know. I know you in particular have school. But uh, once this whole thing, hopefully, <laughs> eventually blows over, it's gonna be good to uh, maintain our usual sleep schedule. I know I'm trying to at least with a 1 a.m. or 2 a.m. cutoff. And even with my job having me work from home now. Um, one of the best tips they can give you is like, hey, don't neglect showering, don't work in your PJs, keep yourself in what would be a daily routine. It will help your sanity to stay in that. Oh, shit. 
I fucking love this grenade launcher so much. Oh, looks like we got a new person in, I believe. If you're enjoying, feel free to leave a follow. We're gonna have some good times, a lot of demon killing. There we go. Don't know why their blood is blue. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Uh, I, am, I am very screwed. Uh, I should have killed that dude for health. Shit. There we go, some health. Sweet. Uh, you watched my video about Rockstar. How did you um enjoy it? That was that was the I would say after the first real video I did on my channel, the um Resident Evil 4 one. It, it's kind of weird because the more I look back at some of the older stuff I've done, I was still trying to figure out like video formats or like how I should write things. And so the Resident Evil 4 video was definitely a bit of, I want to get into this thing, I don't quite know how yet, so I'm just going to list everything on here. So I don't think it was the best, most cohesive video. And I think my Rockstar one is gonna, is the first video I still look back at and I still like. And I'm, oh, I'm glad you liked it. I think the only thing, if I were to go back, that I would possibly change would be maybe some of the tonal stuff or um, the intro graphic. I'm very glad I moved away from the intro graphic, that I moved away from the uh, bevel edges uh, video effect. I'm definitely just shooting for a simple and clean aesthetic now. Now I think about it, that video was actually pretty jokey too. I'm slightly moving away from that. Even though it seems to be quite popular with the people that I've shown to. I've always thought of it as more of a pacing device than uh, than anything else. God, this game is freaking... Just feels so freaking good to play. If you don't have this already, I would highly, highly recommend it. But granted that you're 14, I don't know how your parents feel about you playing this. Granted, you play Halo, which is also a rated M game, but not to the same degree that this is. Shit. Ah, damn it. Like, honestly, it made sense for Halo 5 to just be rated T, because there's nothing that violent about it compared to, like, Gears of War or Doom. Like, the, the goriest thing... You're gonna reload. I keep lagging for you. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, all my settings should be the same. I'm, I'm not streaming on PC. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not streaming the game on PC. Obviously, I'm streaming this through a PC. Yeah, I do keep a pretty I do keep a pretty decent eye on my streams afterwards to make sure the audio levels are fine, make sure the video quality is fine. But if there's any other any any ever Ah, I can't talk. If there's ever any suggestions you have, I'd be more than happy to uh, to look at them. Uh, you're in foster care, they don't care. Oh, well I mean if your living situation is satisfactory, I'm more what the fuck are these coming out of? Yeah, if they don't care, that that's cool. I and if you manage to scrounge up the money somehow, I would say go for it. For me, rating systems have always been a case by case basis. For for instance, I have a couple nephews who get way too excited for games. Uh, they get way too into it. They start screaming. One of them is actually autistic so that kind of aggravates um, what was already there Let's see I'm gonna go over here volume a little bit for myself 
Um, but so for them in particular, like I'll let them play like T-rated games or like mature for uh, M-rated games. I'm just like, uh, I, I think it depends on the maturity of each kid. Like my parents growing up, they didn't care what I played. I could play Grand Theft Auto. I could play Halo. And because because I knew I could handle it, I could distinguish reality from fiction. But I, I think it's a case by case basis, and that the guidelines are just there for the parents to uh, to utilize. The game does look fun. It is, it is pretty damn fun. It's a bit more chaotic than the 2016 one. I think 20, the 2016 one is still on Game Pass. So if you have that, you can give that a try. So many freaking demons. Uh, I'm surprised there's throwing something like this guy in so early. The first couple levels of 2016 Doom, it was just imps and soldiers and little tiny dudes you can't really even do much to you. But this is right off the freaking bat. Uh, shit. No ammo. How do I kill a dude if I got no ammo? My chainsaw is, can't take him out. Uh, don't kill me, please. Baking. Oh. There we go. Now I can kill. Shit. <laughs> oh god. She is inside that demonic citadel. I will mark her location. All the enemies in here are basically just uh health bags for you to kill <laughs> running around with no freaking ammo. I'm just like, I need an enemy to kill, let me kill you let me kill you. Uh Legendary Halo 3 campaign is so hard, I'm only on the first mission. Yeah, it's definitely it can definitely be a war of attrition in the Halo 3 campaign. I would say, in some regards, it's easier than, um, than, let's say, the Halo 2 Legendary campaign. Oh, second level now. Cool. Yeah, I would, I would say it's slightly easier than the Halo 2 campaign, specifically because the elites, their shields regenerate. So if you take too long to take them out, um, you basically wasted all your ammunition and time uh, for nothing. Versus the Brutes in Halo 3, at least if you pop their armor off, then they don't have it anymore. Fast travel. Huh, that's new. Fast travel unlocks near the end of a mission. Access fast travel in the map tab in the dossier. Okay, but I am can't go to the rest of the level I was at. What is the legend in here? So that is a codex. Yeah, there's definitely some tough parts in uh, Halo 3. Anything anything with snipers is a freaking pain. Doesn't help that the battle rifle in 3 is not as accurate at, at a long range. See what these guys got going on. How can this be? No man can pass through the gate. <laughs> <laughs> this game looks really good on the uh, Xbox One X too. Are these holograms or the actual get Yep, holograms. Or teleporter, I have no idea. Uh, let's see, George says, in the second game you can only take, I'm sorry, you can take 23 bullets from the standard elites, but in, but in Halo 3 only 5. Yeah, that, that, that would make sense. I remember dying pretty damn quick in 3, and then Legendary. The story's a lot more involved in here. 
just surprising. Okay, I guess I missed a decent amount of secrets, but I will have to come back on a second run through and do a better job of finding those, I guess. I think a lot of the reason the legendary difficulty for Halo 2 is hard, and I actually ran into some of this yesterday even though I was on uh, Heroic, is that the checkpoints are not good in Halo 2. It's so like I beat like two entire combat sections and I get killed in the third and the, the checkpoint sends me all the way back to the first and I'm like, ah, oh, come on. There's a, there's a lot of cheap stuff in two. But three, they, the enemies are definitely just really freaking hard. Oh god, and then um, the uh, Cortana level where you're on the ship trying to uh, get her out and there's just like hundreds of floods and you don't really have that much ammunition. Oh, I'm getting PTSD just thinking about it. I completed the redesign of your equipment launcher. The flame belch is now ready for your approval. Flame belch. Let's see. Whoops, wrong button. I want. It. Oh my God, same. <laughs> I like how they call it a freaking belt instead of a flamethrower. They'll drop armor shards, kill them, and they'll drop the most armor. Okay. So, one, a useful tool for killing, but also useful for armor. I assume this has a cooldown. Okay. Kind of cool that they put an emphasis on it by dedicating an entire button to it versus a radio wheel. Uh, this is a sentinel crystal selection screen. Use a sentinel crystal to permanently upgrade your health, armor, or armor capabilities. Capacities. My apologies. Let's see. What should I do? I'm going to say let, let's get more belts going on oh uh, you know what these drop armor so maybe I should spec in armor because if I go health that oh I know okay that's weird well if I'm going to be going for armor then I should do that Oh, I still have to do tutorials up there. I guess I kind of taught myself that. But, um... Let's do this for now. More, more fire is good. Let's barbecue some demons. <laughs> Just fucking... Put, Jesus Christ. Search the environment to locate more sentinel crystals. And improve your capabilities. Looks like I'm going to have to start paying attention to the map. Whoa, what the hell's all down here? Guess I don't really need to explore here. I could be wrong. Like, I know 2016 Doom, like the back of my hand. I have the Platinum Ford on uh, PS4. So I've done everything. I found every tiny little secret. But this is definitely foreign to me, and I... And by no means going to be able to 100% this on my first run. It's probably going to take a couple. Exultia. Is there a particular moment that stands out to you in the uh, Halo 3 Legendary Campaign that stands out as like super hard? I know the last level can be a pain in the ass trying to get up to the uh, Halo Control Room. You know, anything with anything that has to do with a flood is is always the parts I, I suck at the most in the Halo games. At least it's not as hard as uh, <laughs> freaking um, the library in Halo One. Huh? They're definitely building the mythos more explicitly in here. 
There's that sword thingy. Cool. Oh, we got a little notification here. Dramps frames detected. Okay, no problem. Uh, Cortana, the float one. Oh, yeah, yeah. That one is a gigantic pain in the ass. How do I... Am I just dropping down over here? One up. <laughs> I like how explicit it is. It's not even trying to be... Uh, to explain it away diegetically. It's just like, no, this is a video game. You, We all know what's going on. Let's not pretend this is something it isn't. Wow, he can actually jump pretty freaking... Ghost dog. Yeah, uh, the best strategy I always found in, um, on that level, uh, dual wheel plasma rifles, um, is actually surprisingly good considering that the flood are more, they take more damage from human weapons versus covenant ones. But dual plasma rifles always do me justice on legendary on there. Also, when the, um, the pure form floods transform from the big, uh, big steroidy form into the little uh, bug looking one that could shoot uh, needles out. If you punch it when it's in that form or when it's transitioning, you can kill them in one hit. So that's very useful. Elephant form, you just kind of have to keep your distance. Plasma grenades will work. Oh, that's another thing. Just just abuse the hell out of grenades. I, I'm, I'm always terrible about using grenades in games. I always just constantly forget to use them. Let's see. I need more armor. Note to self. Actually use my stuff. Shit. Potions? No, health potions? Really? <laughs> uh, this game does not care at all. And I love it for that. Blood punch aqua- what the fuck? If you think that's good, try the human SMG and the plasma rifle. Yeah, that's that's a good combo. Blood punch is a melee attack that deals extra damage. Glory killing fills a blood punch meter. Once charged, press right stick to unleash it. Okay, so cool. It's a nice just little passive thing. Okay, I have to hold it down. Sweet. Cool. That's just an extra tool I have now, I guess. <laughs> God, the kills in here are just over the top stupid. Let's see if. Nope, I got everything. Did I get that? I think I did. Okay. I should just keep a good eye out for all of this stuff. Like for here, it's telling me that there's a one up. How do I get around to you? Probably when I drop down, I guess. Oh, ouch. Oh, thought that was an invisible enemy for a second. How do I get up there? There's something up there, and I would like to get it. Runes. Runes enhance your abilities or enable new abilities. You have limited rune slots, so choose the runes that fit your playstyle. Form glory kills faster, not necessary. From further away, yes, that is good. Speed boost. Survive one death blow. How long they stay in stagger. Greatly increase movement control while in the air. Nice, but not maybe as necessary. To slow down time mid-air. That could be useful, I guess. Kill by equipment or while in the influence of equipment will decrease the recharge time. 
Oh, uh, this one's pretty useful. I'm going to go with this for now. They stre really streamlined the customization, it seems. Instead of having to do challenges and having to upgrade them, you just kind of... I'm sorry, the runes aren't tied to specific things. Finding more runes will unlock more rune slots. Blah, 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 blah. Cool. Yeah, in the first game, whatever rune you found was specific for a certain ability. And here, it's... You, you just have ones that you can't unlock, and each rune gives you a point. I think I think I definitely like this better. And hopefully I can actually find all of them. Let's see. Oh. That dude's dead. Anything? Oh, secret to my left. This is definitely one of those... <laughs> it's a little toy fucking enemy. Who do I think my favorite character in Halo is? Um, I am probably a little split on that. I would say either the Arbiter, because he has an interesting story, specifically in Halo 2, with the whole falling out of uh, the Covenant, the religious aspects of it, and having to come to terms with that. So I, I would say the Arbiter. Or probably Sergeant Johnson, just because he has so many good one-liners, and he's just a freaking hilarious... Oh, oh, actually, you know what? Now I think about it. Uh, Buck from uh, Halo 3 ODST. It's helped by the fact that he's voiced by Nathan Fillion, who is just a great freaking voice-slash-regular actor. Oh, what the hell? Okay, it's that guy. Shit. <laughs> uh, what about you? Who would you say your favorite character is? Shit. Let's... There we go. is definitely making a concerted effort to uh, make sure you're using all your abilities as often as you can. There we go. Yeah, my, so mine... Shoot, so, so those, those would be my top three. I'd say the Arbiter, Johnson, and Buck. Uh, I would... So, shit. I, you know what, I would say Arbiter, absolute favorite, with Buck close second, and then Sergeant Johnson. Shit. Ah, uh, shoots. Uh, Emil from Reed. Yeah, Emil's pretty cool. Gotta go, though. Bye. Alright, it was cool hanging out with you, George. Have yourself a great day, okay? Let's see. Weapon points. Complete all the encounters in the mission to earn weapon points. Demonic corruption meter tracks the points you've earned. Each mission has 10 weapon points total. Spend weapon points in the arsenal tab of the dossier to upgrade your weapon mods. Cool. That would be nice. But yeah, Emil, Emil is a cool character from Reach. And it's cool. They just tell a lot of personality with him in the limited time he's actually on there but even just his, his design with his armor is, is pretty cool it's a shame he uh along with most people in reach did not make it the only person that did was uh what's the guy's name june i think it's june he's a sniper he just kind of dips before the last mission even happens Arsenal. I do like my shotgun. It's 
Select an upgrade to purchase space on available weapon points. I have six weapon points. And what, are, what are these different freaking things up top? Okay, so I can get all of these. So I would I would like to do this more often, yes. Oh, okay, so it is still operating the same in 2016. You get both the upgrades and then you have to work for the mastery. Okay, that's fine. I don't know, I think I still like the UI more from 2016. This this is a bit more is obviously green versus the original game's blue and yellow, but Okay, that that's easy. That once I can unlock that challenge. Um Let's see, so should, you know what, I think I want to save my upgrade points for now for the shotgun, because I've been using that much more. Let's see, I do need to chainsaw some people though. And... Alright. Alright, what's the red encounter thing? There's still more around here? Where the fuck? What is that waypoint? Oh, duh, it's over there. Okay. I'm an idiot, but there's a room over here. And I want to know what is behind you. It's probably one of those secret doors. Mystique of the world is definitely being built up. Yeah, I'm guessing that's a secret door situation going on. You know, maybe I'll give it a look around. Quick little once over. Hmm, maybe not. Maybe I'll open later. It's not even show me everything over there. And there is that. Okay. There's some. There's a little thing to read over there. I can't get to. Come back for it, I guess. And it's cool that they give you fast travel. Travel at the end of the level. Actually, nice, relaxing music for right now. I would not expect that out of a Doom game. Oh, here's the thing. Much more of an increased uh, focus on verticality, too. Why is a nice dog? Oh, jeez. I'm surprised how freaking good this looks. The hell is a sentinel? Oh, that is a thingy I want. But how the fuck do I get to that thingy? I really want that thingy. 
Let's see if I can platform my way up somehow. There's that all the way over there. So I will be coming back through here and I'll do another sweep of all this stuff. God, I always get so freaking sidetracked with this stuff in games. I just need to tell myself, look, I'll come back for it. Don't worry about it. I'm just trying to do a semi decent job. All these. Is that in the middle? Something glowy? No, there's something to the left. Yeah, that one. Let's jump to this one. Oh, there's a secret over here. You're trying to be sneaky. Oh, I'm sorry, not that one. Over here. What the fuck is this, though? Da oh, it's an ability. Dashing into a pitted surface instantly attaches you to it. You can dash twice before it needs to recharge. Okay. Cool. Are these things going to open at all? That'd be nice if they did. Oh, I know I gotta jump from the other side, that's why. Down. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Okay. You know, I can probably make it. Let's just go up. This is definitely going to take some getting used to. This game looks so much better than it has any rights it deserved to be. You know our laws. Despite their transgressions against the government, they are still of sentinel blood. What you interfere with now is bigger than you can imagine. It is written. It is their time to give penance. If you continue, you will bring down the heaven's wrath. You are but one man. They are no longer your people to save. Doom guy does not give a fuck. But I'm gonna have to call that for the stream because I start work pretty damn soon. So, thank you for everybody that came in. Thank you to the loyal viewer, George, otherwise known as Two Up River Sun Poo Eight. <laughs>
All right. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Uh, if you're a new viewer, feel free to follow. That would be appreciated. Thank you. Have a good day. Oh, oh I'm sorry. I'll be back on at about 10 p.m. or so, give or take. All right.